proclaim the salvation of God day by day, tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Here all of you at home watching uh, as we celebrate today St. Bartholomew. That is why we're wearing red, all of us and you, right? We're all <laughs> mar martyrs for Jesus, as Bartholomew was, an apostle of Jesus. We'll learn more about him a little bit later. Jesus asks us to be like his own, to be an apostle, to be a disciple. And that's his invitation to us every day. And we have that opportunity to say, yes, I want to be like Jesus today. I want to be like Bartholomew today. And so here we are, doing our best. We're also here being reminded and acknowledging our sins and failings. And once more, here together, preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. At the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God, and its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which names were inscribed, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of the kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. A 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law. And also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you come to know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. <laughs> Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, You will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. research on St. Bartholomew, who of course we know him as one of the twelve apostles, commissioned by Jesus himself, and empowered by the Holy Spirit to heal and preach in Jesus' name. And according to tradition, Bartholomew traveled on missions to India and Armenia, where he was martyred. He is the patron saint of the Armenian church. We read about this saint by the name of Bartholomew in every gospel except John, where he has come to be identified with the new name of Nathaniel, Nathaniel, the same, the disciple who professes his faith in today's gospel. Nathaniel is told by Philip that they have found the Messiah, the one Israel had been looking for. Nathaniel is doubtful and goes to find out for himself. When Jesus sees Nathanael coming, Jesus makes the first move, calling out, he is a true child of Israel. Jesus, a stranger to Nathanael, already knows Nathanael and the kind of person he is. Nathanael is surprised to be recognized and affirmed by Jesus, so he asks, how do you know me? Jesus tells Nathanael he has been seen, seen him under the fig tree. This is thought to be a figure of speech indicating that Jesus knows Nathanael has been faithfully awaiting the Messiah and preparing himself for the redemption of Israel. Nathanael realizes that Jesus must be some kind of wonder worker, for Jesus knows his heart and what he is longing for. With this, Nathanael is convinced and opens his heart to Jesus, professing his faith in him. This story is not just about Jesus' call to Nathanael, it is about Jesus' call to me and you and all of us. Like Nathaniel, we have our doubts. And if we add them all together, they'd be as tall as the church at times. We may hesitate to believe that Jesus is the one we are looking for and longing for, some of us at times. But Jesus does not hesitate to call out to us first. Jesus sees us first before we see him. He knows us first before we know him. He believes in us first before we believe in him. He makes the first move, recognizing and affirming us for who we are and what a difference this makes. It is just what we need to trust him and to open our hearts to him in faith. That is what we are called to do. Just as Jesus promised Nathaniel, our faith in him opens us to see even greater things. Nathaniel or Bartholomew, one and the same, sees the risen Christ, witnesses his ascension, and shares the gospel in India and Armenia. He was sent. God sent us his son, 
the one sent Jesus, and Jesus sends us. And he sent Nathaniel, and he went to those places, India and Armenia. We see the risen Christ present under the appearances of bread and wine in the Eucharist, for sure. We see Jesus and the people gathered here who will receive him in just a minute or two. And we faithfully wait for the day when we will see him face to face, along with St. Bartholomew and all the saints in the glorious splendor of God's kingdom. Please stand. Trusting that in faith we will see great things, we offer our petitions to our merciful and forgiving Father. That the Holy Spirit may nurture in our bishops the missionary zeal of Bartholomew and the other apostles, in whose succession they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, that the peace of Christ may touch all nations and lead them to tolerance, understanding, and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those experiencing grief or emotional anguish may be freed by the Holy Spirit from all their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of this faith community in times of doubt and fear may experience the strong and comforting hand of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be called by Christ into the splendor of the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishioners of Holy Trinity, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions in the silence of our own hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For more vocations to the priesthood, religious life, consecrated life, and lay ministry, that people have the courage to say, yes, I want to serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers. Please answer them according to your holy will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands by the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for the of all his holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead in it the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother, Bishop Timothy and Thomas, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a safe sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, but only say the word, but those shall be healed.
body part. The body part. The body family and friends watching from home on our live stream, let us pray the act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will have, I will have confession after Mass for one hour from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. You're welcome to join us. Also having... Help me pray for our first meeting kids. This is the last week of, uh, of our masses, Tuesday and Thursday. That means number seven and number eight masses we've had for these wonderful kids all through the month of August. And then Wednesday, we have our last confirmation mass uh, for all of our high school kids. So that's on Wednesday evening. So pray for our young people. Okay. And let's ask St. Michael to help us too, okay? St. Michael, Michael, our Michael, angel, Michael. defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, 
cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go.